The holiday season is upon us, and for us New Yorkers, that also often means that the holiday tipping season is upon us. But how much should you tip your doorman and other staff in your building? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm Dewey Moss. I'm a top producing real estate agent in New York City. If you haven't already, please take a moment to hit the subscription button for lots of great content on these channels. Also, take a look at the description box for all sorts of different ways to get in touch with me personally. And let's get started. Supers and porters and doormen, oh my, there can be so many staff members depending on what level of service building that you live at. And it's always a common question that, that I get every year, Dewey, how much should we be tipping staff in our buildings? You may live in a building that just has a super, you may live in a building that has a lot of staff. So it's good to know what some of these guidelines are. And the guidelines can be very broad, of course. The guidelines can be up to you. They're very personal, depending on the service that you've you've received uh, throughout the year. But there are some general guidelines. There's a great resource over at Brick Underground. I've uh, put that resource down in the description box. Take a look there. That gives you a really good idea, really good broad range uh, for tipping on all services in your building. What they do is they take a survey every year of what people are paying and they get a pretty good response and then they take the averages. And that's what we're going to look at today. All right. So for your super, your super oftentimes is the most important person in the building, really running and taking care of everything in the building. A range is from $150 to $300 on the average. Now, Brick Underground says that it could go up to $1,000, depending on what kind of building you live in and what kind of services that you've received. And of course, this is at an average, if you look at some of the surveys, you're going to see that, you know, it goes up to a few thousand, even up to some give responses for 10,000, depending on what kind of building you're living in. So understand that it's a broad range, uh, but you're going to be, you know, doing pretty well to, to hit that range between $150 and $300. All right, your doorman or concierge is each 75 to 200. Again, Brick Underground says that it can go up to 1,000 right so again look at what's going on in your building look at what you think is appropriate but if you're hitting the 75 to 200 hundred dollar range you're well within the average our porters or handymen's maintenance staff people who also help make the building run uh, we're at 25 to 50 dollars uh, the broad range goes up to a hundred dollars Per, per person. And then if you are lucky enough to have a garage attendant in New York City, we're looking in the range of 25 to 75 again on the broad range uh, going up to, to about 100. So as you can see, uh, this can add up right if you live in a in a building with a large staff that has maybe three handyman or porters on staff and your doorman and your different super um, that can add up to a nice chunk of money uh, that you need to be prepared for each year so if you are new in a building uh, and have never tipped before, whether it's a rental building or you own in a building. You should start thinking about this early in the year. Start, start you know, putting money aside, uh, start thinking, start asking your neighbors, you know, once you get to know people, what's the general range that, that is expected for tipping? Um, if you're particularly close with your doorman, <laughs> you can ask, you might get a, a number that's on the higher side, but you can ask what the range is. Also, it's not uncommon for some buildings to do what's called a pool, a pool, right? So you, uh, all of the, the homeowners or, or renters in the building anonym, anonymously uh, you know contribute to the pool and then all of the staff divides that pool uh, that can be very good for the staff I've also seen buildings where it's not the greatest because people don't tip a lot since it is a little bit more anonymous but if you want to uh, maintain good relationships with all of your staff in the building if you want to ensure that you get good service throughout the year you're gonna need to tip and the holidays are the time to do it and we're all in the generous spirit so use these guidelines check out the description box for more resources that article from brick underground and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button and take a look at that description box for more ways to get in touch with me personally and happy holidays everyone and happy tipping and i'll see you next time